Gary, the father of the bride. So can you please make sure that your glasses are charged? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll just move around. Uh -huh. <laughs> As Michelle said, uh, I just wanted to extend that uh, very warm welcome. I think everybody's done a, done a stunning job so far. What a fantastic venue. The, um, it should have been a year ago, but it's, uh, it's here now. So hopefully, I think the registrar said it really, really ex excellently when she said we're here to help celebrate this wonderful occasion with them. Well, we've waited a year, so, so thank you to everybody here yeah, for, for coming. There are one or two noticeable uh, emissions from the, from the attendees today, namely uh, Uncle Alan, who couldn't make it today, so I know Anne's here. Who's Anne? Oh, Anne. I know Anne. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so we, you, you're flying the flag, and I know, uh, I know Alan will be thinking of uh, both of you today. Uh, Uncle Kenny, he couldn't make it either, Jay's uncle, but he's working offshore, so I, I know that they'll, uh, they'll all be thinking of uh, today, wherever they are. Um, obviously, there's always uh, absent friends and family and there's uh, loved ones that are no longer with us and they do mean a lot. We carry them in our hearts always. And I thought uh, what both uh, Jade and Ryan have done with the photograph board, I don't know if you've seen it through the bar, uh, it was a lovely, lovely uh, tribute and uh, yeah, we carry them in our hearts. And today's a celebration and it's only right and fitting that they're here to celebrate with us. Okay, so uh, I've got a couple of thanks to do. Um, First of all, as I said to each and every one of you, thank you for coming. Um, you're all VIPs, and we're all VIPs because we're the people that uh, Jade and Ryan wanted to be here. So we've got our part to play in making it the, the wonderful occasion it's going to be. And it's not just today, it's the whole weekend, which is quite a novelty and a, it's a lovely thing to be able to celebrate. If you don't know me, by the way, it's Kaz. All right. Not a lot of people know, but Ryan actually calls me Big G. <laughs> I'm five foot six. <laughs> Unless, of course, the Big G stands for uh, something else. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Ryan? <laughs> okay. Um, there is another uh, special personal thanks that I need to, to make, and that is to yourself, Sean, and Kerry. Thank you. So, not only for what they've done in, in making today a special occasion it is, uh, so thank you for that alone, but a personal thank you from me, because I know how much you love Jade, and how much she loves you, so it's just nice to know, I know they've got the man around the corner, but it's just nice for me, uh, living a little bit further afield, to know that she's got a second mum and dad in you too, so thank, thank you. So. Jay, want us all to have a fantastic time. I'm sure we're going to already have that fantastic time. It is so unbelievable. It's just brilliant, honestly. And you both look stunning. Uh, as does everybody, I might add. I saw myself in the mirror and I didn't recognise myself. Uh, so, no. Um, the bit that I was dreading, really, uh, tissue time. So if I do it, it's not a timeout. It's... Not a timeout. it's uh, it's been and I might need a tissue. Now I've already cried today, which, uh, is, which I didn't think I was going to. I thought I had it all together. So I brought this little drink across. I thought it was water, but it's definitely not water. <laughs> so if you see me stopping and having a sip of that, or reaching into my pocket, I've been told that I've got tissues in every pocket. <laughs> okay. I've even got a couple under my eyelids, but so I'm trying to hide them. So um, I didn't put the mascara on today, as you'll notice. So my baby girl. No, honestly, it's, you look so stunning today when I see you through the, through the back there. Honestly, I was just blown away. But there's some sneaky cameraman going around trying to film it. <laughs> uh, 
So I don't think so many men have cried in the same place for so long. <laughs> so I'm not alone. I'm not alone. And um, probably not in the last years that really shared, but honestly, it's fantastic. So if you know Jade, and you all do, because you're here, and by the way, I'm going to ask the question. It's, it's been quite a backlog of weddings. Is there anybody in the room that doesn't know either Ryan or Jade? Because if there are, you're at the wrong wedding. <laughs> yeah? Um, no, Jade, everybody that knows her, I mean, they just, you can't help falling in love with her. She's just a beautiful person inside and out. I'm her dad. Whiskey time. <coughs> no, seriously, she's, uh, she's vivacious, she's fun to be with, she's loving, she's careful. You've seen the smile, I mean, the pair of them. I mean, is there any two better smiles in the whole place? It's just light the room up. And clearly, I'm the proudest man in this room. I'll fight anybody to say otherwise. Um, so it's friends here. Yeah. I mean, we've got people as, as, that's turned up from as far afield as, uh, as Whitley Bay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ireland. <laughs> yeah. Um, and as far north as Orkney, and as far south as Cornwall, <laughs> and everywhere in between. So, yeah, is that a Cornwall cheer there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm glad I'm glad. Uh, That's why I talk funny, by the way, that's my end of the world. Um, no, but uh, seriously, um, I could have three hours talking about Jade, and it still wouldn't be long enough. So, it's clearly going to take somebody pretty special to steal a heart. And take her away. And there he is. Aww. I couldn't be more shocked for it, honestly. <laughs> I'm so pleased. 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 i <laughs> so I don't know a lot about football, but uh, I've been told that Ryan's very brave in his choice of football team. He supports, <laughs> he supports a, a, an Arse football club. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Arsenal. Arsenal football club. Um, which for a Geordie, supporting a football team outside the region that's uh, crazy about football is Newcastle. Um, yeah. You're a brave man. <laughs> but uh, I noticed the Arsenal shirt on the wedding cake, which I thought was an extra nice touch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Sam Big as well. So, yeah, really good. But the biggest thing about Ryan, I think this little thing that sums it up, and I'm going to share this moment. I was down visiting, and I was staying with um, Michelle and Michael, and uh, this was before lockdown, when there was, I think we shared a meal that night, and we played a few games, I was down, and um, Ryan appeared back at the door, which was a little bit unusual. I thought, what's going on here? Uh, there was a little bit of bad worry, if I'm honest, as well. I thought, Where, where's Jade? But um, he came in and proceeded to ask me for my permission to marry my daughter, which I thought very traditional and very respectful. But that's not why I mention it. The, re the reason why I mention it is because not only uh, did he ask me, and obviously me and me and Jade's mum and Carol are, are no longer together, but um, needless to say, Ryan also asked Carol for permission as well, which I thought was respectful and um, in keeping with that tradition as well. And uh, it says a lot about you, Ryan. So good on you, mate. <laughs> The, uh, for the main event, so no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you speaking to Roger, aren't you? Yeah, but I've left my speech to my dress. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, there might be a little short interlude while we uh, re refresh our classes anyway. So, um, words of wisdom. I know it's traditional to offer up some words of wisdom, but is there anybody seriously in this room that can hand on heart offer up any words of wisdom? I'm not brave enough to do that. What I would say <laughs> is that you and Ryan, you've been together now for a while. You're learning, you're living with each other and you're learning each other's ways. You obviously love each other and keep each other happy. Your vows were just perfect, beautiful. So if you keep doing that, you don't need any words of wisdom. Just keep doing what you're doing now, okay? And I'm going to finish up before, uh, before I end my little piece. 
and I'm going to teach you a little bit of Cornish. Everybody's going to be speaking Cornish. You can say you went over this wedding knowing that you spoke Cornish. So, um, if you could all be upstanding, please. Now, there's going to be three words that I'm going to say. Now, I know you can hear me, and all I want you to do is to repeat each word, and then I'll say the words in English, and, uh, and then we'll raise our glasses to the bride and groom. So, in Cornwall, what we would wish this beautiful couple is Carenza. Carenza. Yagas. Yes. Loena. Loena. Love, health, and happiness. Love, health, and happiness. Thanks, Dad. Bride and groom. Bride and groom. Yes. See that vast majority of you don't need to go twice. <laughs> <laughs> so let me start this off with a huge personal thank you to both Carol and Gary. I've got that off. Yeah. That's good, Catherine. Yeah. So let me start this off with a huge personal thank you to Carol and Gary for raising such an amazing daughter. Carol, you've been absolutely amazing since day one. From the wheel music incident. <laughs> <laughs> and the five star then as you know on a regular basis. It keeps my heart. Oh, <laughs> you're always good for a laugh and you've always been there when we need you and I can't thank you enough for that. And Gary, despite the initial nerves of meeting this ex navy, you <laughs> decided oil rig working far after you've described. It's a natural pleasure to get to know you. Had to make a long trip down here so often and for the laugh, the kindness and the over generosity. Just big thanks to both of you for being so warm welcome from day one. And thanks for bearing with me as I stood at my way through the blessings. <laughs> and of course, for giving them. <laughs> I could not have asked for better in laws. Thank you. <laughs> to my mum and dad. I mean, what can I say? I don't even know where to begin thanking us for everything. I just thought we've done it for the wedding. It's not already. Success. <laughs> with all the love and support you've shown me, and no indeed us. I'm sure a lot of people stand up here and tell them how great the parents are, but I generally think I've won the parent lottery. <laughs> so I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you. I love you both, and thank you for living everything. All the love, all the guidance, 
all the patients through my younger years, back on the back of blue and black, exactly, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seemingly never ending car repairs my, pa- my dad and mom's, <laughs> a lot. But seriously though, if our marriage is anywhere near as fantastic as yours, I can't see myself very lucky. Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce Radio Gasses firstly to the fantastic parents. Shout out to Moshas, my brother Eric, and the fantastic Mr. David Fox. Thank you for all your help today, lads. Without all your help and input, today would have, well, it still would have very much been possible. But <laughs> we're glad you came with you. <laughs> Not forget, of course, my best man, Darren. Darren, mate, I've known you for, for what, eight years now? It's felt a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but seriously, we've been through some highs and lows, to say the very least. <laughs> and you've always been there for me, usually with a beer in hand. <laughs> and I just want to take a the opportunity to say thanks for being my best man and my best mate. Oh. <laughs> Massive thank you for what hell of a stag do, and of course for all the sweet, kind things I'm sure you're about to say. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the bridesmaids, who all look absolutely stunning, alright? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say our own piece, but just allow me to personally say there's so much for like to thank this for. Firstly, thank you for all the help in the lead up to today. Play by yeah is not a phrase that exists in my wife's world. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for keeping us as calm and composed as you have and for making this day as amazing as it could be. Thank you for giving Jade what sounds like an amazing hand I may never be able to look the shell in the eye, but I'm trying to miss it. But it was worth it for the time. Explain that bit. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, to the bridesmaids. Yes. <laughs> Last but absolutely not least, I want to talk about this absolutely perfect woman sitting next to me. That oh. beautiful life shade. This is her crying. You always look absolutely stunning, but today there's absolutely no words that do it justice. <laughs> I would have thought when a bubbly long, long, yeah. young lass rang me up almost five years ago to offer me a job, I'd be speaking to my future wife. <laughs> <laughs> so as some, as, as some of you will know, I first met Jade when she introduced herself as my new boss. A role which, despite no longer working together, she has reprised to this day. <laughs> 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 I tried to cut the cliches here, but I knew she was special from the moment I saw her. So weeks and weeks later, I went to come to a Christmas party and Jane shot me those first flirty smiles. I could not believe my luck. <laughs> <laughs> a few hushed chats later in the office hallway, just to confirm I hadn't imagined it. <laughs> and it went from there. We'd sneak out for lunch together. We'd risk life and live in the rock shades pumps, just to spend some extra time together. <laughs> <laughs> and in those rainy dark walks, in your tracksuit bottoms didn't deter me. <laughs> <laughs> And the more time I spent with you, the more I realised just how truly beautiful you are on the inside and out. You're one of the most kind and warm people I've ever met. You always have this amazing positive energy, which I still can't get enough of. You make me happy just to be around you. <laughs> You've never been afraid to be yourself. And by the way, teams, you will be a doing a reason, maybe. <laughs> it's just one of the things I love about you the most. You're immensely talented. And what better example than this amazing decoration you've pulled up today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how I've managed it, but I'm just so happy to be married to you today. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, as I'm sure you're aware by now, I've never been best with words, so I'm going to strongly suit. I love you so much more than I've ever write on paper. <laughs> and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life showing you just how much. Oh. So ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses one final time to my beautiful wife and my beautiful bride, to Jade. <laughs> to Jade. To <laughs> Jade. Yes. Yeah. So that's more than the front day. 
Ten and a half. It's almost ten and a half. Let my best man loose with his wild ramblings. If you've got all this humour and play along, that'll be swell. <laughs> Before that, I'm going to pass you over to Jade for what I'm sure will be a lot more eloquent and less crying speech. <laughs> Cheers. Did it about that. Well done, mate. to do a bit of work to do a speech, but those who know me know that I'm not going to let all the men in the room do the talking. So. <laughs> 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 I've got quite a lot of people to toast, so feel free to get the wine glasses and stuff down while I'm rambling at the start. I know and my dad and Ryan have already said it, but I just want to thank everyone in the room for coming. It's, it's been a long time in the way in. And I didn't think it was going to be possible at one point and that we would elope to my life. <laughs> and so it's surreal that it's finally here. And just thank you so much for all coming. Um, okay, I'm going to single a few people out just to say a special thank you. So I'll get my beautiful mum here. Mum, I can't thank you enough for all your love and support over all the years. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in the middle of the wedding. The King's Happy Bridal appointment. The one you couldn't come to. You video called in. You've babysat Scumpy countless times while we've been off doing wedding errands. It was such it was such a good help. And I know we don't always agree. So every time I sent you a photo, it was like these shoes or these shoes. These earrings or these earrings, you would always say the exact opposite to what I wanted you to say. But there is one thing me and I agree on wholeheartedly, and that's how perfect this man is for me. I really want to tell the story of how Ryan and Mama actually originally met. But I will vomit, nudity, and real music, so I'm going to save that story for later on tonight. Dad, I don't know how to begin to say thank you to you. Not just for your help today, but also for being a great dad for the last 30 odd years. Oh god, I forgot I was 30. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a constant rock in my life, constant source of support, guidance and wisdom. And I knew I was doing okay with Ryan when I was on the phone to you one day. And I think we'd only been up for like a couple of months. Mm -hmm. Ryan was out cutting the grass and doing some DIY jobs. And you actually said, I think you've got a good one, I did. <laughs> yeah. And I, no other boyfriend has had higher praise than that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have to do it. <laughs> so yeah, the second, the second toast I'd like to give is to my, to my lovely dad. Thank you so much. Thank you. To Gary. To Gary. Good work. I thought it was a good idea to print these off on card. <laughs> and next up is my. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Testing. Testing. Yeah. Okay. Next up is my beautiful bridal party. But I'd also like to give an honour and mention to my lovely white girls, Lauren and Laura. <laughs> Thank you all for your last minute guidance, calming us down when I was having a bit of a tears, and just generally being the most supportive girls I could surround myself with. <laughs> Eva has come all the way from Dublin for today, and I know she would have moved heaven and earth to make sure that she didn't miss it. And we actually met it for those you that don't know, six years ago this week in San Francisco. Wow. So poetic. <laughs> you would have known six years ago when I ran up to you in a hostel that you'd be here being one of my bridesmaids today. Thank you, Eva. And then, Candice, my gorgeous, gorgeous cousin. So for anyone who doesn't know, Candice is a hairdresser. She's been to about 200 weddings, two and a half. She's never been a bridesmaid. So when I finally asked her if she would be mine, the squeal was definite. She finally She was a bit gutted that the wedding was postponed and she got so bored that she had a baby in the meantime. But still managed to get back into her size 10 bridesmaid dress. 
Thank you so much for making my entry so fun and just being the best person you could ask for. And last but not least, my beautiful sister, who I made of honour down there, Michelle. Or Shell, as she's known to everyone else. Or Schwest, as she's best known to me. Between bringing up Elliot and running the biology department, I don't know how we've managed to be such a massive support to me for the last two years. You give me the best hand you ever asked for. You've let me store loads of wedding crap in your house for the years. <laughs> and you've just been the best, most supportive sister I could ever ask for in an absolute dream made of honor. On a more sentimental note, you were my absolute role model growing up. And all of our silly little inside jokes and all of your little unpopular opinions that you're never afraid to share with me. Thank you for all your sisterly support in everything you've done today. If everyone can raise a glass to the bridesmaids. The bridesmaids. <laughs> Oh, okay. Next up is the end of the table there, Carrie and John. A lot of people in this room. A lot of people in this room already know Carrie and John. So I don't have to tell you how much they are kind and wonderful people. But I can honestly say, like they have made me feel like their daughter from day one. From the first time I rocked up at your house in my gym kit, going for a dog walk with Ryan, I just knew it was a family that I wanted to be a part of. I actually thought when I asked Ryan to move into me, after only about four months of being together, that you'd be mortified, Gary. <laughs> but you're running. You wouldn't. She wasn't. She ran upstairs and she shoveled all this stuff into a box and you did. <laughs> I don't know if that says more about you than it does. <laughs> In all serious though, as my dad's, as my dad's already said, you, you've been a second mum and dad to me for the last four and a bit years. And I know that my mum and dad think the absolute word of you as well, so they won't mind me saying that. Thank you so much for all your help with today. You've helped more than you could possibly know. But most of all, thank you so much for raising this man, this man right here. He's such a wonderful, kind, loving, and considerate son who I'm lucky enough to call my husband. Thank you so much. I've been calling them my in-laws for the last two years, but now it's official. I like to really relax to my in-laws, Carrie and John. Carrie and John. Okay, let's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the last one. Who was it for again? Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> last but not least, my amazing husband Ryan, who scrubs up very well. <laughs> Just wait till tomorrow when you're back in your baggy jeans and your home gyms and t shirt. The women of the beer. We've already had such a fantastic day today, and it is without a doubt the happiest. Happiest day of my life. I'd love to say that it's the happiest day of Ryan's life, but in actual fact, that was definitely when we did the behind the scenes Arsenal Emirates Stadium tour. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> so, as Ryan's already pointed out, we met going on five years ago at work, and Ryan can be quite shy until you get to know him, but once you crack him open, he is literally the most cheeky, fun loving, and kind-hearted man I've ever known. From the first day that you met my friends on the top floor of Mile Castle and you were lying down some sort of steps by six seven eight, <laughs> to that time in Morocco when you came back from the buffet dead shift with yourself for finding extra cinnamon to put on your custard tar. It was actually curry powder. <laughs> you make me laugh every single day and I can't think of a way I'd rather spend the rest of my life. There are so, there are so many more things I would like to say about Ryan, about how wonderful he is, 
and also some few embarrassing escapades. <laughs> but I think I'll leave the embarrassing stories to, to Darren, who's next up. So if everyone can share a final talk with me for the groom, the love of my life, and my new husband. Do up jokes, <laughs> get over me now. <laughs> I am struggling. Uh, Brian, are you looking forward to this? <laughs> I, have, I have kept it very short and sweet because I don't want to offend too many people. <laughs> um, okay, so for those who don't know me, I am Darren. Uh, I met Ryan about eight years ago on the PlayStation of all things. Um, yeah, it happens. <laughs> uh, now, it's never easy to write a speech, and especially following three of us is never, well, not looking forward to this. Uh, uh, when we write the speech, I uh, wrote it and then had to take quite a few things out that didn't want to create myself as well as Ryan. <laughs> so, uh, so we'll give it a go. Um, so, as tradition goes, I am supposed to. Roast Ryan, slay Ryan, have a good old laugh on Ryan's behalf, but do have too much respect for him, and I love him a lot. Thank you for that. I mean, I do have a story of when you met Jade's mum. <laughs> um, I've just read the, the cards on the table, I'm not sure I really all need this, but. You've got it. Uh, it's nice to see you dressing on your boxer shorts this time when you're with James Mark. <laughs> not, not on the bed being sick. Uh, also, you taste the music. I uh, heard great increased mega mix. The amount of times I've heard this is just ridiculous. <laughs> I cannot stand it. And it will be fair later because you can't help yourself. It's a terrible taste in music. It does happen. Um, now, Ryan does enjoy going to the gym and thinking he can convince the rest of us to um, join him in mud runs. Uh, normally in the uh, rain or beating or sunshine, you never had a nice day. Um, <laughs> but this year he's managed to convince Jade. Now, normally when we do it, just before the cameras, he always managed to make Cell look good, like the year. Um, nice, smart, and all that. But um, he thought well in advance this time. He managed to convince Jay to do it, and now, as you can see, Jay always looks beautiful and always makes Ryan look that ten times better. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm sure you will agree with me how beautiful Jay looks today and yeah. how lucky you are to have this by his side. He's one very, very new boy. Uh, so I'm going to cut this short. Uh, so, on behalf of everyone here, I would like to thank Ryan and Jade for asking us to be part of their special day, and he has to put on light ahead into an amazing life together. So let's stand and raise our glasses for one last toast, for Ryan and Jade, and for a first time I've left me all over here. <laughs> to Ryan and Jade, Fantastic. Couldn't wait any longer there, 